What's good, YouTube? So today I'm going to be bringing you a Q&A. Uh, we actually just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, so respect, respect. Getting there, guys. I really appreciate that, honestly. Though, like, it means a lot to me that you guys actually support and watch my videos and go on my Instagram and like, just enjoy the content that I post. Just I hope you do. <laughs> but um, yeah. It really means a lot to me. All right, so get to that Q and A. Okay, so first question: How much do you bench, and do you play sports? Um, I played sports in the past. I did MMA back when I was about 13 years old, and I was really big into skateboarding. Like, dude, that was like my life for. <laughs> for about like three years so um yeah I played football back in grade nine but I don't know it was fun while it lasted but like honestly I just like the gym so much more I like being in the gym so much more than going to practice and playing games and everything like like if there's anything I can tell you guys is do what you want to do and like don't be influenced by other people to do something that you don't want to, you know? Just do what makes you happy and do just what you love. So, that was deep, bruh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So next question, uh, how much do you bench? Honestly, like, bench, um, see, I do a lot of dumbbell press and like incline flat press but like bench like flat bench I don't do that often like I might throw it in like maybe every other week or whatever but yeah I just prefer dumbbells honestly because you get so much more of a squeeze with them and like I don't know you can just really stretch with them and yeah so but bench is definitely a must like you, you gotta bench bro so uh, I bench like for reps on the barbell like 185 that's on both incline and flat that's for reps like 10 to 12 so yeah let's see the next question though how tall are you I am 510 at the current moment Who are your main inspirations? So definitely Jeff Side, number one. Hi, Darren Brett. Um, number two, Ziz. I mean, like, how can you love Ziz? Three, Sadiq Hadzovic. Um, he's dope. I actually met him at the Toronto Pro Show. Talked to him a bit, gave me some pretty good advice. So, yeah. Uh, that's about it for my main inspirations, but, um, yeah, what kind of music do you listen to? Most of the time, I listen to EDM and, like, EDM trap type of music, but, uh, a lot of the time it's just strictly EDM, like, um, what's it called? I like Progressive House and Hardstyle, those are my two favorite, like, uh, I guess you use it like categories in EDM. Pretty dope. Uh, I also listen to some rap artists and yeah. Um, do you post on the MISC? No, I do not post on the MISC. I did create a Body Space account like a while ago, but uh, I just didn't really see the point of it. What is your favorite EDM song? And. Who is your favorite artist? Right now, my favorite EDM song is Chasing Time by Visatone. Bomb song, guys. Definitely gotta check that out. And also, uh, I'd Love to Change the World by Jetta. That is a dope song. Uh, who is your favorite EDM artist? 
I'm gonna go with Hardwell, man. Hardwell is sick. What are you up to today? Recording a Q&A for you guys. Um, what is your arm size? Uh, right now I am 16.3 or 0.4. I haven't measured in a while, but I measured. Last time I measured was like a month ago. But honestly, like I don't, I don't really go by measurements per se. Like I track progress through the mirror and through. Oh, just dropped my water bottle. But train progress. I track progress through the mirror and through pictures and stuff. Like yeah, you. It's cool to say like, yo, I weigh like 200 pounds, but like, I mean, what do you look like at 200 pounds? Like, are you well proportioned? Are you symmetrical? Are you lean? Are you, I'm not saying lean is everything, but you know, just do you look good? You know what I mean? Like, uh, what is your split? I train back Monday. Chest Tuesday, legs Wednesday, shoulders Thursday, arms Friday, and chest again on Saturday because I feel like it's one of my weak points and I strongly believe if you have a weak point, definitely hit it twice a week. That will really make it brutal. Uh, I also throw in traps on the shoulder days and the back days and I have abs just spread out in between, train abs like maybe two, three times a week. Um, what is your favorite pre-workout? I like Jack 3D, honestly. Jack 3D, probably my favorite pre-workout I've ever had. It was also my first pre-workout. Absolutely loved it, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I heard it got banned or something crazy like that. I don't know, man, but it was a good pre-workout. Uh, definitely don't need pre-workout, I mean it's just one of those things that if you have a little bit of extra money or you just want to try something out, uh, invest in it, but I mean it's not mandatory, it won't get you results or anything, like indirectly maybe because it's giving you energy, but like straight on, uh, it's whatever. Uh, what made you get into bodybuilding slash aesthetics? Honestly, just wanting to like look like those guys in the movies and like be as big as those guys. Like honestly, I just wanted to look good. I mean, not much to it. Uh, I started uh, bodybuilding when I was about 12 years old, just working out at my house, like doing sit-ups and push-ups, and like not knowing what the hell I was doing, but. I mean, in my mind, I was doing something, and uh, I just do that till literally I couldn't anymore, which is like I mean, I would do that every night, so it was a bit counterproductive, honestly. But uh, yeah, I mean, at 12, when you're 12 years old, like, what do you expect? You know, I never had a trainer or anything. Like, I literally taught myself everything through the internet and like YouTube channels and just doing my own research, right? So, yeah, and then at around 13, I got a gym membership. That was around the time I was doing MMA, and I just fell in love with bodybuilding, and that's what I wanted to do, and I did it, you know? I stuck with it, and yeah, here we are today. But, um, yeah. Who is more alpha? Dylan Shu or Chris Mantamani? <laughs> Bruh. If you guys didn't know, Dylan Shu is one of my very good friends, one of my training partners. He's a cool guy. But my answer to that would be fighting with sushi. Uh, what, su <laughs> what supplements do you take? Uh, do you take creatine? Uh, I take. Right now I'm taking creatine and uh, a mass gainer. That's literally it. I mean, you don't need much, honestly. Like just the basics, like creatine, fish oils, um, 
and mass gainer if you're trying to put on weight if you're not just take the protein powder back but um yeah at the moment I'm just taking creatine and a mass gainer I normally take fish oils too but not at the moment uh, what does your daily schedule look like uh, in terms of school lifting etc okay well I'll wake up at around 6.45, 7 o'clock, I'll go eat breakfast, um, I'll go to school, uh, and then at around lunchtime, I leave to go to my co-op placement, which is literally just, uh, what's it called, like an apprenticeship type of thing, like I go and work in a physiotherapy clinic, and I, uh, yeah, I just want to know what the whole physiotherapy world is, you know, considering going into that into the future. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, and then I go to the gym, work out for about two hours, and then I go home, chill, eat food, sleep, do homework. How long do you train? Uh, I train about two hours with a partner, and when I'm by myself, I normally take like an hour and a half, give or take, depending on the workout. Uh, do you even lift? Nah, bruh. What is your overall goal when it comes to working out? Um, honestly, my main goal is just to inspire and motivate as many people as I can to get into the gym and be happy and like just enjoy life and make the most out of everything, you know? Like, it's so important, seriously. Like, why wouldn't you work out? There's so many pros to working out, man. Like, just like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> What's that max bench, Ray? Haven't tested my maxes in a while, actually. Should probably get to that, but, um, my max bench was, uh, like, Like, last time I checked, which was like two, three months ago, I was benching, no, like three, four months ago, dude. Holy, time is flying. But, uh, yeah, my bench at that time was about two plates, like max, right? Now I'm, we now I'm repping out like 185 or like 10 to 12, so I mean, making gains, bruh. What do you want to do in the future? Um, honestly, my main goal would be to, like, start a clothing line, like, like, in terms of, like, my profession, I want to, like, own a gym, I want to start a clothing line, I want to, like, uh, sell supplements, like, all the, all the cool stuff, you know? <laughs> And like, I wanna, like I said before, I just wanna motivate people, you know? That's what I wanna do in the future. And like, that that would be my main goal. Uh, name top five aesthetic bras. And how big do you want to be in the future? Top five, okay. Uh, Jeff Side, Ziz, Sadiq Hadzovic, um, Zach Ainsley and Steve Cook. Those are the top five. Uh, and Frank Zane, so I guess top six. <laughs> Frank Zane's pretty deceptive as well. Um, and how big do you want to get in the future? Honestly, I just, like, I don't know, honestly. Like, I just want to keep working out and I mean, stay natural and see how far that takes me, you know? Like, we'll see, we'll see. Like, I don't think I'm ever gonna stop working out, it's just, like, my goal as of right now would be to, um, just get aesthetic, to have a nice physique, like, I guess you could say Jeff Side's physique, like, that type, that level at least, you know? Obviously you can't, like, steal someone's physique. Are you gonna try for fitness modeling in the future? Yes, I actually want to get into that sometime soon actually so 
I mean, if you guys have any connections, hit me up. But, uh, yeah, I want to, I'm starting to look into modeling and everything and see what that's about. I mean, why not, right? Just look into it. Uh, are you on a diet? I'm on a bulking diet. Like, I mean, I wouldn't say I have a strict diet or anything. It's just I have staples in my diet and I just work towards the goal of getting as much food in me as I can. Obviously clean foods or semi-clean, like you don't want to be eating like pizza every meal of the day or anything like that. Like even if you're bulking, like you want to get as much meats in you as possible, as much vegetables, like rice, carbs, and all this good stuff, you know? And that's my current diet, I guess you could say, like just to get as many calories as I can. Um, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no, bro. I'm just chilling right now, like, just going with the flow, you know. If she comes along, then, then she comes along, but right now, no, I'm just chilling, bro. Is your bulk clean or dirty? Medium. It's medium. Uh, do you live in Toronto? No, I don't live in Toronto, but I am fairly close to Toronto. I live about two hours away from Toronto. Alright, so that's going to be it for the Q&A. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Definitely some more videos coming out soon. Really appreciate you guys watching.